Hello, this is the Renegade Gamer. I am here and we're going to do a review on this movie right here, Batman Hush. Now, Batman Hush stars um, Jason O'Mara, uh, Jennifer Mortison, and it's directed by uh, Justin Copeland. I'm not a big fan of uh, Jason O'Mara's Batman. Just being a blunt with you, I don't care for the voice actor. He does a good job in this, but I don't really care for the voice actor for, for Batman in this. Um, Jennifer Morrison uh, is famous for playing uh, Dr. Chase off of a uh, house. Um, it was kind of interesting to see her do voice acting. Um, and Justin Copeland's directing skills, he's all right. I, 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 I tend to like Sam Lee a little better, but Justin's fine. Um... So, uh, before I even get into this film, I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, this movie here comes with a short in it called uh, Sergeant Rock uh, from Sergeant Rock and the Helen Commandos. Uh, watch that. It was really good. It's about 15 minutes. Uh, he's basically in the middle of uh, World War II. He's, t he's given a new platoon basically to work with, and uh, or squad, I guess, to work with. And they have to... Uh, assault a, uh, a Nazi research center to try to get some scientists back. Worth your time. It was it was a lot of fun to watch. Um, I would have watched the whole entire movie of that, to be honest with you. I, I would like to see that. That, that would have been awesome. But 15 minutes, it was good. So, no complaints there. So, Batman Hush. So, this is based off of, uh, the uh, comic book series. Uh, I think it was a three-issue comic or more. Um in Batman. Now, I am not the most, uh, I am not the most well dug of comic fans out there. It's been quite some time since I, I read, uh, since I kept up with a lot of comics. Um, basically, in my job, it's kind of hard to do that. But, uh, I do remember Hush, and I remember how it went. Uh, this... This is an adaptation of it, and they do change quite a few things. There are some critic criticisms I have of this, and I will get to them when I get when we get to, closer to the end of the, the thing. Um, so the story of Hush is basically a mystery, uh, and also a story of uh, Batman and Catwoman um, romance. That's basically the story. It's a mystery involving Batman and, and Catwoman, Catwoman romance. Uh, you see a lot of uh, uh, DC villains in this, uh, you, uh, Batman villains, and some other characters. Uh, Lady Shiva appears in this very briefly. Uh, Superman is in this. Poison Ivy. Um, Scarecrow. Sorry about the shaking. They're loading me right now. Um, Joker, Harley Quinn, uh, Clayface, Riddler. Uh, you see Penguin at one point. Uh... I think who else is in the Bane. Um, there's also Damian Wayne and Dick Grayson uh, as Nightwing uh, and Batgirl. So this, this is a full roster. It's all over the place, okay? And then, of course, the title character, Hush. So we get our start off. And uh, the exciting incident happens. Uh, Batman is shot. And uh, that is your introduction to Hush. Um... There's quite a few comical lines in this. I, they were pretty funny. I, I liked uh, Damien's quotes to uh, Bruce when he's going to go meet Selena for a date. Um, it was I found it funny. I know some people may find it cringe-inducing. I, I find that kind of stuff funny. I find it humorous. Um, there is a scene in this movie where basically Batman beats the only living hell out of Joker almost to the point where he kills it. He almost kills it. But he doesn't, but he almost comes killing it. Um, I, there is a scene in this film where uh, uh, there's a sex scene in this film. Um, you don't see anything. It's just implied. You also see them making out at some, some points. Um, overall, this was a very uh, this was a very entertaining film. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't follow the, the storyline of Hush to the T. Uh, there are cha significant changes within this. Um, one of the biggest ones I think is his, his fault and limits it is the fact that they pushed this into the, uh, the DC animated universe. I personally don't think it fits, but it is there. Uh, you also have the... Ooh, excuse me. The character of Thomas Elliot, who in uh, the story of Hush has a, is 
kind of critical to the story of Hush. Um, he's reduced down to basically a supporting character that gets, at best, maybe eight minutes of screen time. And I'm being generous here. Uh, you don't find out much about him. You don't find out much about his backstory. And uh, he's just kind of limited there. There's also a continuity error in this uh, in this universe that they have they have not addressed. Um, a few films ago, we had uh, Suicide Squad: Hell to Pay, which dealt with Amanda Waller wanting to get a get out of free uh, get out of hell free card because uh, she was dying, I believe, of cancer in that film. And they said she didn't have much longer to live. Live. Uh, she's in this movie, and she seems perfectly fine. I don't know. If you're gonna make a if you're gonna make an animated universe, you might want to follow your continuity a little better. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, but anyway, getting back into what this film is about, uh, there is a lot of fight scenes in it. Uh, they I like I liked a lot of fight scenes. I enjoyed the one between Batgirl and Catwoman. The one between Riddler and uh, Batman was great too. Um, him watching him beat the shit out of Joker was uh, horrifying, and at the same time, awesome. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, there was a, there was a lot of good stuff here. Uh, if you just want my recommendation, I would recommend this movie. It was good stuff. Uh, I enjoyed it for what it is. It's an adaptation. It's fine. Uh, but getting with problems with the film, there is some issues here. Um, Hush in the comics is not Hush in the movie. I'm just being, I'm being blunt about this. Um, Hush in the comics is a character that wanted that one of his uh, parents dead, and uh, uh, Thomas Wayne saved them, and uh, he's hell bent on killing, uh, uh, outright destroying Bruce's wife, their life, and everything else in the film. He does do some of that, except that that backstory's not there. But he does try to do some of this, destroy Bruce's life. But to be honest with you, the Hush storyline gets put on hold for a bit and just kind of concentrates on the uh, Catwoman Batman storyline for a while. Now, he's, he's, been, he's, in, he's behind all these scenes in the film. Uh, when you finally find out who Hush is, just know in the comics that um, the first thing you're seeing that is Hush. He was involved in the conspiracy, and he was the mastermind of all of it. But he was not Hush in the comics. Uh, he, but he is Hush in the movie. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. I'm just kind of giving you some information here. Um, oh, we lost our music. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this movie does have some issues. Um, I don't think the animation works all that great to it, to be honest with you. Let me back this up a little bit. We'll just throw it back in the middle. Um... It does have a, a few issues. I don't think that the animation is fine, per se. The model work of some of the characters seems a little off every now and then. Um, like the chin may be a little bit longer, or the face just looks kind of weird. Um, uh, voice works fine for the most part. Like I said, I don't care for Jason o o Omara, but he gives a per he gives a he gives a good performance regardless. I'm not sure he's playing the Joker in this film. He does all right. Um, I can tell you this, it's not Mark Hamill, and it ain't none of the other guys that's played him, Joe DiMaggio or any rest of them. And it's also not Tara Strong playing Harley Quinn, which surprised me, because um, she sounded a lot like her uh, to me. And uh, when it got in the credits, I was like, that wasn't Tara Strong? Wow. Uh, nor is it Tara Strong playing Batgirl or anybody. So I guess they settled on some new actress, says on for the part. Uh... But yeah, I would recommend this. Uh, definitely, I would I would pick this up. It's worth your it's worth your time, worth a watch. Uh, definitely watch the Sergeant Rock short. It was good. Uh, next up on the uh, the chopping block for DC, uh, they have uh, Wonder Woman Bloodlines. I'm not 100 percent sold on this. I, I will buy it and I will watch it because I do watch all these. But to be honest with you, I'm not 100 percent sold on this. Uh, I have to see it, see what I think. I did enjoy the first Wonder Woman animated movie. Um, I thought that was critically underrated uh, when it came out. Um, but I, I just, I'm not 100% sold on this one. Um, I'm hoping it's good. Rosario Dawson is an actress I like. Uh, she's been doing a Wonder Woman voice for, I think, the last eight or nine films. 
Uh, she's, she seems fine for the part. But a story I'm not really 100% sold on, so we'll see. Uh, as for my own channel, I do plan on going back and recording uh, for uh, the previous DC movies. I haven't done any of these in quite some time. I think it's been a lot, about a year and a half, maybe two years, close to it, the last one I put up. But yeah, I, I've continuously watched these, and uh, I just haven't recorded any because I was like, I don't know what to say about them right now. <laughs> um, that and I've had a lot of other things going on in my life, so I'm trying to get back into it. But yeah, so that's that's pretty much my thinking uh, and rating on everything, or you know, my thoughts on the Batman Hush movie. Uh, it's it's good. I like the I like the st I like what they did. It, it's adapted. They squished the, the movie basically into this adaptation. I get it. Um, you know, it kind of sucks that they had to cut some stuff here and there. But you know, it, for the most part, it's okay. I mean, I don't think it fits in the DC universe, but it is what it is. So. Anyway, I'm Renegade Gamer. Y'all take it easy. I'll catch you next time.